Okay, do any of your siblings have, were any of your siblings discriminated against? Any of them? Of your brothers or sisters, were they discriminated against? Everybody was discriminated against black. The whole Negro race was discriminated against. Um, how did you encounter other people that were not African American during that time? Like, what, how did you react to other people that are not the same color? Well, I knew life had to go on, and I accepted life as it came. I knew I had to do what I had to do to survive. What what is what did you do? To do what? What did you do to survive? Just kept on doing the things that we had to do then, that we were allowed to do. Um, what was your job? My job was cleaning house. Um, can working for um, were there families that you came house for or were they were they predominantly white? Yeah. Can you describe any how they treated you? Very nice. Very sweet. I went in and did my work and did it right and they loved me for it. Okay. Um how has how has your life changed? After Jim Crow? 99%. 99% of some rights to rights of life. Can you give me an example? Oh, Lord, have mercy, tell you. Everything we did, we had to stand in line and be the last, if it was anybody else. Whites are in, in, in front of us in a line, we had to wait and be the last to get served. Any public place you went to, We was always Jim Crow to the back of the line. We could never walk in front of the line. We had to get a line in the back, in the back line, back part of the line, to be waited on. How has Jim Crow, how has life during Jim Crow affected you? Be uh, uh, grateful to God that he brought us out of that and give us some of the nice, beautiful things. She made a way for us to have some beautiful things in life besides being slaves. If, when you look at the next generation, what can you tell them? Like, what lessons did you learn and what can you tell them now? I can tell them. Do the best thing they can, get an education, work hard. Education would take them where they wanted to go.